If you're watching this channel, you might as well be wondering about the title of the video. Of course we are obsessed. Of course this is a thing you'd argue, but remember, it's not just us. The question is about the general population. Are we in niche market? Or is this thing totally mainstream? We live and breathe sneakers, but not everybody feels the same way. So, how many of us are really out there? I'm Steph from 99sneakers and today we are going to find out if sneaker obsession is a thing. A rising tide of consumer interest pushed sneakers to the top of the hot product list. The footwear market as a whole grew 13% in 2017, but sports footwear grew by an astonishing 46% according to data from Euromonitor International. Nike brand only had $32.2 billion in revenues last year. And we are talking about performance, outdoor and sports inspired footwear, categories that are poised to continue growing in the years to come. Performance footwear is experiencing the fastest growth in the sports footwear market. Air Jordans, let's say, have arguably become more of a fashion statement than a basketball shoe. It's hard to look at the sneaker boom without seeing a correlation in the growth of the athleisure market, which itself is the catalyst for much of the success athletic retailers have enjoyed. The fact that consumers are more interested in adopting a sporty lifestyle has done much to turn sportswear into everyday wear. Sneakers are also an easy entryway into the athleisure market in general. Even retailers that have traditionally been more performance focused, like Mizuno, are transitioning to streetwear styles. Meanwhile, sales of sneakers outpace both dress and casual shoes combined, and that is really about the look and the lifestyle today more than anything. Indeed, it's hard to visualize the athleisure trend of leggings, yoga pants and track pants without an appropriately sporty pair of sneakers to tie it all together. That consumer interest has sparked a huge amount of investment from retailers, including new luxury sneaker lines from Lululemon, Adidas and Under Armour, and a big investment from Moet Hennessy Louis Vuitton SE in sneaker startup Stadium Goods. That's not to mention the recent merger between Goat Up and Flight Club. Under Armour has Steph Curry, Puma has Rihanna, and Adidas has Pharrell Williams and Kanye West, among others. Just about every sneaker brand has a long-term celebrity partnership or two, not to mention limited edition collaborations that drop in carefully planned installments to drive consumer interest and resultant sales. Part of the reason that model is so successful is that younger generations are turning to more personalized, unique products and experiences. Indeed, over the holidays, a study by Yes Lifecycle Marketing found that 35% of Gen Zers were looking for personalized gifts, while the NRF found that 84% of the generation followed personalized retailer recommendations. These influences of the hip hop culture, the skate culture, are really becoming the mainstream curators of what's cool and that's translated into footwear. So, the younger consumer who is very concerned about being unique is willing to pay a premium for that. It's not just sneakers Gen Zs will pay more for. The group is more likely than millennials to shop at several luxury retailers, although sneakers are only a recent addition to the luxury retail realm. The sneaker craze used to be isolated to a select group of sneakerhead aficionados, with brands collaborating with celebrities that meant a lot in the sneaker world, but not really anywhere else. Lately that's changed, as brands have reached out to different celebrities and acquired customers outside of the sneaker fan culture. Internet and more specifically YouTube also helps. The world is one now. The youngsters, no matter where they live in the world, know what's going on in the sneaker market. So what's the verdict? Are we mainstream? I think yes. And this is happening organically, as a part of a culture transformation. If this transformation is hyperbolic, and if consumerism has beaten the passion for pure sneaker love, it's something we still don't know. 
but we might want to examine in another video. Leave your comments below and tell us what you believe. Subscribing to our channel and liking the video would mean the world to us. Thanks for viewing.